first though, Carol and Jane, I know there's always lots of talk about bingo wings and yeah. things. And I know you said this is going to be one of your New Year's yeah, kind of resolutions to get rid of Pick them. Pick up the dumbbells and I haven't. Although I never think you've got bingo wings. But I anyway, have. well, got a little something that might help you, ladies. Oh, oh. Now, uh -oh. you might... Oh, money. Yeah, you might... You might think that's just an ordinary dumbbell, but no, take one each. This is a yeah. vibrating dumbbell. Vibrating? <laughs> yes. Oh, it vibrates. Yes. It vibrates, and apparently... Right, go on. It's, to it's going to give you tone sculpted arms. Well, right, there's a, there's a double hand front. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> right, Jane, there's a side to side. There's a side to side. It just right. feels wrong. It feels wrong. <laughs> it doesn't feel. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> yes. It's, now, if you do that, it doesn't look say, right, does if it? If you do that, it says that will create up to oh. 240 muscle contractions in a minute. Yeah. And if you do that, if you shake it backwards and forwards for six minutes a day, you can wave goodbye to those bingo wings. Okay. Anyway, okay, so we'll, we'll give them a go then. Take yeah. them home. Give them a go. Can't it's all to do. It's all to do with the vibration. Is so it? You really have to pump them, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you better like that. Yeah, you, yeah, you do. Bit. You have to really pump them. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Anyway, take them. Ooh. Take them home with you. <laughs> I'm so Take them home and let us know how you get on. Oh, my I will. little, my I'm little guinea now. pigs. Can't wait. Now listen, we're talking fitness, obviously there, but and health. And uh, <laughs> the Tory health spokesman Andrew Lansley, he's been setting out the Conservatives' public health strategy, and uh, they seem to be very keen on labelling everything for us. Uh, they want alcohol units to be replaced with centiliters on cans and bottles. That's apparently going to combat the confusion around units, which I don't understand anyway. They also want to see fast food chains publicise the calorie content on their menus, and they want all food packaging to show daily guidelines amounts of fat, sugar and salt. Yes, Carol's bored already. <laughs> so do you think all these plans to label everything for us as if we're five years old, you know, numbers and calories and centilitres on bottles, is well, it going to help the nation get fit and healthy? See, the thing is, I'm a big label girl and Are I'm going to get booed for this. Mm. But no, I do. I read backs of uh, calorie for the calories and the fat contents. I take a notice, but I read them. <laughs> and last read night... Them. No, I, exactly. Yes, no, them. last night I did something <laughs> stupid terribly wrong I went to see Legally Blonde and because it was so amazing I sat there I thought oh, I just fancy a few little chocolates so they don't have the little bags do they no, in theatres no yeah. big bags so I sat there and I was like that I was laughing so much uh, I, I didn't realize that end of act one eating the whole box of chocolates felt a bit sick and then th looked at the back and thought, oh my God, look how many calories yeah, but I've why just did you eaten. look? What's Don't the point of doing that? Because I needed to tell myself off so I wouldn't do it again. I bet you will. But of course I will. <laughs> <laughs> of course I will. But no, I, I think it, for me, I don't know, it just makes you feel better because we all, li we all lie to ourselves. I lie to myself about how many calories I'm eating in the day. And I think that was just like, no, I can't do that. It was a reality check but for if, me to if see, you'd look have how much bought, I've just eaten. Yeah, but if you'd have bought those sweets and on the front was a big label saying there are 6,029 calories in here yeah. and 48 grams of fat, yeah. would it have stopped you buying them and eating them? Uh, probably if it was on the front staring at me going, your you thighs are going to be massive Deep down, tomorrow. you know that. You already yeah. Know it. And, and the problem with all this labelling, you know, you think they've got better things to do. There's so many things going wrong in this country, and what are they doing? They're tinkering with labels on food. And the problem with that is the people who care, the people who are interested in what they put in their mouths and what they eat, already are aware of the labels. They make it their business to know what's in stuff. Who, the people who don't care just eat anything they want anyway. So what's the point? Just leave it. No, but I see. I disagree. I, mean, I disagree because I think there are people that do care and they don't understand them. I have to say the, the wine what's thing. To understand? I don't even look. I have no idea what's what a centiliter, centiliter is. Exactly. All I know is I like my wine. I know which ones I like. Yeah. I know I shouldn't drink a whole bottle of it every night. It doesn't always stop me. But, <laughs> so the wine thing, to be honest, I wouldn't. But the food thing, I feel quite strongly about because I think all governments uh, pay lip service to this. You know, we want to make the nation healthy and stop obesity. They should be 
making food manufacturers have a standard system right across all food labelling that tells you what, how much fat, how much sugar. So, and the trouble is, they do. No, but I it. think people want to, but they don't understand it. And, the, and it's misleading, a lot of it. Mm. So you'll pick mm. something up and it'll say on the front, you know, low salt or less sugar or less, no added sugar. Mm. And when you read the back, it's always tiny print. And also, they do this thing per half pack. So Eamon yeah. actually went and got, he's trying to do a bit of healthy eating. And, and I was well, away. That's to and eat. he bought himself a, a ready-made curry. And he thought he'd done really well because it was prawn. And he thought, and it said, yeah. it said something like, uh, you know, I know, less sugar, I don't know. And I looked on the back and it said um, something like 14 grams of fat. And then in tiny writing, it said per half pack. So I said, and then I said to him, darling, that is 28 grams of fat in that whole oh, thing. And he was crestfallen. And he was like, oh, I can't do anything right. You see, oh. and it's misleading. Oh. You've just said that. Attention. You've just said the word pre-packed. As yeah. soon as you see a ready-made meal, it's going to have more salt, more sugar, more calories, more fat in everything. You see, I, I eat full butter, full milk. I can't do diet stuff. If I, I, I say, see, and I'm pretty I'd say I'm pretty slim I'm not yeah. I was gonna I, say why aren't you overweight if you are slim. because yeah. because I can't eat, you're not obsessed I'm with not obsessed weight with all it the because time. If, if your body will tell you what it wants what you have to remember is there's good fat and I, I get really worried about how many additives are in all these things mm. that we don't know my motto is if it grows on a plant yes if it's made in a plant no. <laughs> yeah, and also, you can eat whatever you want. Yeah. But just don't eat too much of it. Don't eat too much of it. I think, yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously, there are some kind of pre-packaged foods and things which are quite good, you know, and they set out to be good, but I think it's misleading. I think, I think mm. we need it standardised, uniformed, anyway. Get your grocer back. Get your grocer back, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> now, talking of shopping, if a